It's the postseason in college football, which also means it is award season for Alabama. Reuben Foster, the first one to go off the board, winning the Butkus Award, going to the nation's top linebacker. Some other big defensive guys, Jonathan Allen up for a couple of awards. Michael Casagrande joining me now on campus to discuss that. Right now it's the Bednarik Award, from what I understand, as well as the Walter Camp Award. Thoughts on his chances of winning either one of those? No, it's interesting because he was asked about this last week, what it would mean for an Alabama player to win the defensive player of the year. That hasn't happened uh, at Alabama. So it, it, he said it, he admitted it would mean something to him. Uh, most of these guys, you know, they want to push these awards to the side and not say they're as big of a deal. But this one, it's a little bit more. Uh, it's tough. It's a tough field with Miles Garrett. Uh, you got Jabril Peppers from Michigan, a couple guys who are some of the best defensive players in the country. Allen has obviously received all kinds of attention. Uh, his sacks, his big plays. So, you know, it's about as even of a field as I can imagine. I'm not a voter in this. I'm not sure how I could pick in that group. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see who's going to win that. Uh, the Walter Camp is kind of the mini Heisman. Uh, it's been kind of the, the early signs of who's going to win. Derek, Derek Henry won it last year before he got the Heisman. Um, it's another tough field. Lamar Jackson's in that. So uh, he'd have a better chance to Bednarik than the Camp. But uh, it's a big deal to be one of the five finalists for that one for sure. Yeah, Michael, and then we go to the other side of the football on the offensive line. Cam Robinson up for the Outland Trophy Award. What are your thoughts on his chances of winning that this season? No, it's, it's been one that it's probably been uh, three years coming. He's been that guy. The left tackle uh, been the star since a true freshman year. Uh, there's a pedigree for Alabama players winning this award. Well, there haven't been any defensive players of the year. Uh, they definitely had a few Outland Awards runners, especially under Saban, uh, Andre Smith, 2008, Barrett Jones, 2011. So, um, this is the kind of thing that, that Alabama players would pride themselves on, the, the offensive line, winning the line of scrimmage. So uh, this would mean it's something, you know, a lot to him uh, and to the Alabama program. All right, Michael, thank you so much. We appreciate your time as always. And for all your Alabama Crimson Tide updates, visit us on AL.com.